Diana Oluk has a check on rates and how the Fed's move is hitting the big home builders right now. Diana. Yeah, Morgan, stocks of the big builders jumped on the rate cut, and they're still holding mostly in the green. The home building ETF is off the session high, but up over 1% and up about 5% week to date. It's on pace for its best week since June 7th and out of correction territory, being led by names like Lennar, Pulte, D.R. Horton, all up more than the broader averages. Mortgage rates don't follow the Fed funds rate. They loosely follow the yield on the 10-year Treasury. Still, the drop by the central bank is a result of high volatility in the markets and concern that the coronavirus will impact the economy. That will keep investors in the bond market. We're seeing yields lower, hence driving everything in the mortgage world lower. Now, the average rate on the 30-year fix hit 3.13 percent on Monday, matching its record low, according to Mortgage News Daily. Mortgage refis are surging on the news, but there are big question marks for the spring housing market. Buyers could pull back if they're worried about the market and their jobs. And one thing to note, the S&P real estate sector is in the green. That's made up of REITs, and REITs, of course, are a low-yield play. Back